Yo, people, what's going on? What it is? So, uh, the deal is, I'm a little sick right now. My room looks like a 12 year old's first time touching his penis. I just got this camera, which is uh, super cool. And thus is why I'm going to the gym for the second time today against my better judgment because I kind of just don't want to go to the gym for a second time, to be honest. And I'm also sick, which is kind of not cool. But uh, my buddy hasn't trained yet today, and I just got this camera after I hit my first session. So I was like, yeah, I'm kind of down and just go in, like hit a quick pump, hit some arms and shoulders or something, see what happens. So yeah, being sick is not cool, man. If you're sick, don't go to the gym. To me, you're gonna get other people sick. You're gonna infect people. People, you know, it's 2019. I know people aren't using condoms very much nowadays, but you know, still gotta look out for other people, you know? Are you recording? The record? The We're recording. Oh, 14 seconds recording. Holy shit. You look like a potato. What's up, sluts? Watch your profanity. <laughs> Alright, guys. I like. Am I doing the voice right? <laughs> Alright. I feel like this is awk. I'm still getting butterflies because I'm like, this is potentially in front of millions, millions and millions and millions, and, and of millions possibly even billions, billions yeah. maybe even trillions. Yes. I guess the cool thing about vlogs, right, is that, and I'm assuming this is what everyone does, you just kind of record everything you do, yeah. and then you just cut out all the stupid shit. So like basically, we got about 13 seconds of usable footage yeah, right now. We, just, we have at least nine seconds of usable footage right now. Bro, it doesn't zoom. Why isn't it zooming? It's not zooming. Oh shit. So as you can see, it is pretty early in the freaking morning, man. Um, the gym that I go to opens up at four o'clock and I thought I'd hit a session because yesterday was Tuesday. I don't think I filmed anything that day, but basically, as you know, I was a little bit sick. So I slept until like 3 p.m. because I was up editing that little, the edit thing that you guys saw probably before this clip. Um, so I was up till 4 a.m. ended up sleeping till like 3 p.m. just because I was sick and So that was basically my off day and I you know kind of had caught up on sleep because I slept till 3 p.m. So 4 a.m. Now probably gonna go ahead to gym gym sesh, but probably not gonna film anything not gonna bring the camera Just because the gym that I go to is a little bit, you know, it's it's like a fitness club it's not really a place where you know people are kind of chill with you you know videoing because not a lot of people there are like hardcore lifters or anything but <clears throat> regardless me and Calvin are trying to get that situation fixed trying to switch gyms potentially soon but uh, anyway I'll pick up later and we'll see all right guys what's going on so um, yeah, I'm kind of holding my camera right now just because whenever I keep putting it on the tripod, <clears throat> it keeps falling over. And my camera keeps fucking up and saying that there's no memory card. And, you know, that's not good. Um, I've never really been one to 
you know, baby the things that I have. You know, I don't want to be like super overly cautious or anything. But, uh, you know, this shit's not good. Dropping a brand new camera. So, you know, I thought I'd do the old uh, hold it thing. So, forgive me if I'm like going back and forth. You know, I'm kind of on a come down of caffeine pre-workout. So, standing outside right now. It's about uh, 6 a.m. Got back from the gym. Obviously, the last clip that you just saw. I guess I could have brought the camera to the gym because, you know, who would have thought 4 a.m. There wasn't that many people at the gym. But uh, anyway, I kind of feel weird right now. You know, the mix of euphoria from the endorphins pre-workout mixed with, you know, sleep deprivation is kind of really, really weird. Better workout than I thought it would be, to be honest. Yeah, don't really know what else to say. It's a pretty nice day outside. I don't really know if you can see that. See the sunrise is coming up pretty soon. Anyway, got to be kind of quiet because, you know, it is 6 a.m. and there are people asleep. I feel like there was something else that I wanted to say. Oh yeah, I was gonna mention, um, basically what I did for my leg day was I just did some really light squats just to kind of keep the movement pattern down because I've tried to, I used to do legs, well I always do legs twice a week, but uh, I used to be squatting twice a week and I feel like you know cutting down on that is maybe something that I want to try. So. I usually do squats twice a week, cut that down. So this week I just kind of did really light, just did one one plate for like three sets, just to keep the movement pattern. And then I focused on hamstrings is what I'm really trying to focus on right now. So the way I did that is uh, basically just did a wide stance flat foot because I usually squat with squat shoes and a narrow stance, which is obviously very quad and glute dominant as opposed to hamstrings. Um, so anyway, I started with that, then went into a really in-depth hamstring workout and calves, obviously. Okay, guys, so I thought I'd take you through one of the shakes that I've been making recently. I'm not gonna lie, it's a little bit disgusting, but you know, it's pretty gains and you know, all about that shit. So, uh, you know, I'm coming up on, I wanna say my fifth or sixth year of training. You know, which, you know, sounds like a lot, honestly. Maybe I should say that I'm like 16. I've only been training for one year. And then maybe my gains will be more impressive. But anyway, so I'm going to show you the shake because, you know, I found that an emphasis on nutrition is a lot more important. You know, obviously the years have passed, the newbie gains where you can just kind of eat whatever the fuck you want and then make gains. So, you know, I've kind of tried to be pretty strict on my diet even though I am bulking just because you know health is still important so anyway I'll show you a shake that I'm gonna make and the first ingredient is gonna be some water not really any set amount you know this is not Nazi Germany you can put however much water you want in I want to say about half a cup to a cup is pretty good now the shake is pretty nasty, so keep in mind, the more water you put in, the more of this you're going to have to drink. Um, so, yeah. So, second ingredient is going to be tuna disgusting. for a shake. And you're right, it is really disgusting. But anyway, I'm going to do a full, full thing of tuna. So just gonna go ahead and say that this definitely isn't the most cost-effective shake you can make just because you know a can of tuna is like what $1.69 and then there's gonna be some other ingredients in it but uh, yeah so definitely don't feel like you have to make this shake it's just kind of something that I've been doing recently maybe like every other day because you know you kind of don't want to be eating canned tuna every single day and get like mercury poisoning or whatever so one can of tuna along with the water next ingredient is gonna be some lemon juice yeah about like I don't know two shots I don't know how much that was fuck so yeah basically the lemon juice is gonna help kind of mask the taste of the tuna I mean not gonna lie it's still gonna taste like tuna obviously that shit's gonna be in there regardless but uh, 
yeah, it just kind of helps, you know, feel free to omit it or put it in, you know, that's what I do. So next ingredient is a little bit of veggie greens. Um, now again, feel free to put this in or omit it, you know, I just put it in because health purposes. This is just adding up the cost of the shake, which you know, you kind of don't want to do because bodybuilding is expensive as it is. I think this works out to about like a dollar a serving. So, you know, the tuna plus this, it's around like two and a half, three dollars almost as it is right now. So, last ingredient is gonna be some spinach. I usually put in about a third of a package. You know, I recently found that there is, you know, frozen spinach. Like this one obviously came from the fresh section, but I would probably think that buying it frozen is a little more cost effective because this shit's like five dollars. Uh, I think it's five dollars. So <clears throat> about, like I said, a third of this package. Maybe wondering why I had it in the freezer. That's just because, you know, obviously fresh spinach kind of goes bad pretty quickly, as do most things that are fresh. So, yeah, here's what our shake looks like. Pretty not appetizing, but that's okay. Step three is blend that shit. <laughs> So, as you can see, if you kind of put in the same amounts of stuff that I did, you will end up with roughly, you know, a little less than two cups, which is completely fine. The more water and liquids you put in, the more you're going to have to drink, which you definitely don't want to do. So, in combination with the reason why I'm drinking this just to be a little bit healthier with the whole foods thing, uh, the other reason is just because I have an incredibly tiny appetite and I shit you not, I will like sit for 30 minutes to uh, eat a can of tuna. So I find this is, you know, decently fast way to get it down just because, you know, even if it takes you five minutes to drink, you know, it's still better than, you know, 30 minutes to eat a can of tuna just because it's so dry and disgusting. But anyway, so here it is now. What I'm gonna recommend you guys do is chase this with water. I mean, obviously if you're hardcore enough, you can just drink it straight, but I am not that hardcore, so I'm gonna chug this down with some water. Okay, so here goes. Honestly, I've been doing this for about, like I wanna say a little over a month or so, but uh, <coughs> kind of gaggy just thinking about this. <laughs> so essentially, glass of water and shake. I'm gonna recommend that you guys use like something to stir the shake with just because um, it does have tuna and spinach in it. So if you let it sit with the water, you know it's gonna kind of separate just like like peanut butter does with the oil in it. So you gotta keep stirring it to keep the consistency the same, um, which will make it go down easier. Oh, and believe me, you want it to go down as easy as you can. Ooh, it's not terrible. It's not as bad as you would think. You know, the mixed berry medley veggie green stuff mixed with the lemon juice kind of neutralizes it a little bit, but it's still a little disgusting. So anyway, man, that's the shake. If you want to get gains, but I don't know about that because I don't have any gains. So anyway, cheers. All right, guys, it's a beautiful day. So I just kind of finished the shake. I guess that's pretty much going to conclude the end of the video because, you know, that edit of the food and the shake kind of took a lot longer than I expected it would. Anyway, if you guys liked the video, let me know. If you have any suggestions or criticism, you know, I'm completely open to that. I mean, if you want to leave a dislike, you know, 
you can, but like I'd rather you leave a comment and tell me like something you'd rather see, something that I should fix or, you know, suggestions. So anyway, that said, that was the first vlog, man. So hope you guys enjoyed. Hopefully you guys liked it enough to tune in next time. So yeah, peace.